Andrew, tell us what we have here. So this is V. This is V2X with DSRC, and uh, it's an exciting time in the automotive industry with V2X, with NHTSA's uh, legislation proposal coming soon. And it's clear that vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to infrastructure um, using DSRC has real safety benefits. Um, NHTSA's analysis shows that connected vehicle technology could potentially address 80% of crash scenarios involved in unimpaired drivers, which is a, a prolific number. Um, Continental believes that safety applications like these, working on this technology, helps drive us towards what we call Vision Zero, which is the idea of accident-free driving in the future. So our solution is a single box solution that could also be configured uh, to a multi-box solution because some OEMs are interested in moving the transceivers into like an antenna farm or a intelligent antenna module for instance. Others have the interest of just dropping uh, the unit in the car and meeting the mandate in the future. <laughs> so the application units handle the safety and mobility applications and also the data security. Um, and then we also run something called M2X Pro, which is our algorithm that takes the GPS data and fuses it with the vehicle dynamic sensor data. So that way um, you get a more accurate position of where you're at, but you also get reliability. So if you lose your GPS connection through urban canyons, for instance, you still have an idea of where your vehicle's at at, at a some degree. So where, where are we at today? Continental started in 2006 with V2X. Uh, we've been involved in several regional projects in Germany. And we've developed some applications which we're now working on testing. We have six uh, test vehicles at the moment and we're working with several OEMs on development projects using our uh, equipment and evaluating it. So if you'd like, I can take you through some scenarios. Yeah. Maybe, uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about one of the use cases. Sure, yeah, that's what, what, well, when I go through the scenarios, it will go through each use case. And if we want, I, each, I have videos for each of these two, if you're really interested in anyone that are specific. So this first one is left turn assist. You have a car making his left hand turn. You have a car in the opposite direction making his left hand turn. And then you have traffic coming uh, opposite you. And what you'll see when you go to the driver's view is not only does that car block your view of the oncoming traffic, but it blocks the active safety sensors. Camera and radar can't see through objects. And it becomes a problem and a potential accident. Now in this scenario, V2X, our car's talking to his car. He tells us where he's at. When we go to turn, we get a warning saying, hey, don't turn, traffic is coming. Now in this case, we still continue our turn because in the demo, we have the V2X uh, working with our full active braking active safety system to give it some free data that hey there is a car there heads up. So this is intersection mobility assist which is also called intersection collision warning where you have two cars that are coming into an intersection when the application believes that the car a crash is imminent it will give a warning to the driver so you can see you don't see anything and then the car is there. So the idea here is is you can see the benefit of V2X where you get information around the corner or through objects that you can't actually see. Now electronic emergency brake light this application is when you have a uh, vehicle ahead of you who slams on his brakes and there's a couple vehicles between you for instance you get a warning to let you know that there's braking up ahead and what you'll see here in this demo is you'll get a warning and then that other car hadn't even reacted or braked yet now if there was more than one vehicle there the demonstration would be more dramatic because the latency between cars braking you know adds up and then you would have that more comfortable experience like oh someone's braking and you get over okay so one question uh, Andrew. so there are couple more suppliers who are kind of like uh, interested in the V2X domain, yes. um, like Denso and so on. So what do you think sets apart Continental in terms of how you're going to market with this? That's a good question, yeah. So we have the expertise of V2X similar to the other suppliers, but one thing that differentiates us is we see a vision of highly, autom highly automated driving in the future. And we have a systems group that looks at all of our business units and all of our technologies, and they're pulling that all together. So the active safety technology, the V2X technology, the HMI, so all the pieces that you need to do highly automated driving. And we have that expertise and that umbrella to be able to work with the OEMs to say, look, you start with V2X and you have your active safety sensors. When you're moving to highly automated driving, we can help you with those architectures and we have the expertise as a company to, to make it work for you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Andrew. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks.